CBS 5 has learned that Attorney General Jerry Brown's office is investigating the safety of artificial turf sports fields. This after research showed that the popular playing surfaces contain toxic materials. Here's Jeffrey Schaub's Green Beat investigation. From Albany to Redwood City and San Jose to San Anselmo and dozens of cities in between, kids are playing sports on artificial turf fields. Yet there are growing questions about the safety of these fields. State Senator Abe Maldonado has spearheaded a state investigation. We are not going to let our young ones play on fields that could harm them. A Green Beat investigation finds there are three areas of concern. Toxins found in rubber pellets made from recycled material and used in most fields. Extreme surface temperatures hot enough to cause heat stroke. And the possibility the surfaces may harbor dangerous bacteria. And what we need to know is, is this safe for them? Mary Swan Bell and several other parents fought unsuccessfully to prevent the installation of this artificial field at Red Hill Park in San Anselmo. These fields are here to help our children grow up strong and, and athletic and, and vital, but if at the same time they're ingesting chemicals uh, that are harmful and that will show up later in their lives, then we're not doing them a favor. One of the things that makes these fields so bouncy and lifelike are these tiny little rubber pellets. The problem is that medical researchers fear they may be toxic and harmful to the children who play on these fields. Clearly, old tires are a problem. At Oakland's Center for Environmental Research, Director Caroline Cox says the pellets are full of metals, including high levels of benzene. Of the 10 that we found, um, five um, are things which are already n known to cause cancer. CBS 5's Dr. Kim Mulvihill. I'm concerned that there are questions that haven't really been looked at or answered but we've got these fields out there. The Mount Sinai Children's Environmental Health Center has recommended that children wash their hands and wash their clothing after playing. Then there is the issue of heat. On a hot day, it can get super hot and the heat comes up and it starts melting the, the bottom of your shoes. In a Brigham Young University study, researchers monitored surface temperatures during a 98 degree plus day. Natural grass got as hot as 114 degrees. Blacktop heated up to 163 degrees, but artificial turf a whopping 200 degrees Fahrenheit. 200 degrees. That raises the risk for heat stress, heat stroke for kids playing on it. And you also have to wonder what's happening to the chemicals in this material when the heat is that high. Then there is the question of bacteria. These kids are playing on a Band-Aid. Because artificial fields are not routinely washed down or irrigated like grass fields, there is fear that kids might contract staph infection, or worse, infections resistant to antibiotics. The world's largest manufacturer, Turf Field of Montreal, installed these fields in Marin County. It disputes concerns about safety. It's estimated that every month in California, a new turf surface is being installed. But State Senator Maldonado says if they are found to be unsafe for children, there is no option but to have them removed. If we come up with a study and it is a valid scientific study that says they are bad for children, there's no other options here. Those fields are going to come out. All of this comes just a year after the state banned the installation of turf fields which were found to contain lead. Many of those fields are still in use in Northern California. Now, results of the state's investigation into these newer fields is due out this summer. It seemed like it's such a good idea when they started building them, didn't it? Well, who knows? You know, we'll see. The test results aren't in yet. All right. Jeffrey, thank you. Artificial turf versus natural grass. We want to hear what you think about it. Go to cbs5.com environment to find Jeffrey's story and a place to comment.